American Tier 10 Sheridan is the worst lightning in the game. On average, player's win rate on Sheridan is 4% lower compared to their overall win rate. But even in this tech 3, you can find fun things to play for yourself. In fact, T49 is arguably the most fun tank to play at high tiers. And that is why it is the most played tier 9 lightning in the game. Recording this video, I was genuinely surprised by the amount of fun tanks that this tech 3 has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayuxin. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about tanks in this tech tree and whether you should grind Sheridan or not. We are starting at tier 2 M2 light tank. Extremely fun tank to play that you probably already have totally open. Oh, I am not even going to shoot at that guy. Let's go and reload. Can they pen me? I wonder. Forty millimeters of pen. What's my penetration? Forty-one. Wait. Okay. But like I told you guys, we are, like I'm not doing push-ups today. Oh shit, he penned me. Oh, S theory. Uh you had enough? Go in the next battle, I guess. And the the thing is that this light, it has armor. It is difficult to pan it. Should I just go in? Okay. Oh, I could have killed him! Okay, he's done for. This is so cruel, man. Okay, let's load the AP rounds back. Fiat? I'm sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Minus engine. Where's all of the tier ones? Oh, we found one. Okay, good. Let's go after this guy. Oh shit! He can pen me? Wait, I don't think we need it. Minus? Come to me, man. Come to me, man. Sorry, bro. <laughs> this is, guys, M2 light tank. Look at this tech tree. At the tier 1, we have T1. At level 2 we have M2 light, at level 3 M3 steward, and at the level 4 we can already get ourselves M5 steward. And this tank is a big surprise. I recommend you using vents, optic and low noise exhaust. You cannot use rammer as this tank is auto loader and oh boy, this gun is incredible. As long as you don't have to fight heavies, your penetration should be totally enough to surprise enemies with your burst yes yes go back my friend go back yeah reload not even spotted because of the bush in front of me so they either playing here or all the there but I think they're just camping, honestly. I'm loving this thing, guys. Ok, 
Okay, Churchill tree is pushing. I would like to get in the bush and let him go forward. That way, he we're gonna get him in the crossfire. I have to stay away from getting spotted. What is he thinking, guys? Fourteen TP. Hmm. Okay. He set we set a nice trap for him. Okay. The score is two two. But on this tier, the game can change its direction in a matter of seconds. So we are not going to make uh, crazy decisions just yet. And do you guys see how we are playing with light tanks on this tier? We are not running around the battlefield trying to scout where the enemies are. No, 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 no. Our scouting is going to be the most effective at the end of the battle. So all we do is just to try, try to stay alive until that point. Hmm. Cannot pen that. But I can pen that. Okay. I think my... My caliber is so small, I cannot even break a... Break a house with a single shot. Okay, we're gonna hide now. Opačky. Stug. Stug decided to push. I could use the bush here. If he wants to pick on the top more. Okay. So I think now at this stage we should be fine. Like we have Panzer Fear. He can one shot me though. But what I want is to play around these bushes to be able to spot uh, tanks maybe sniping. There we go, guys. Wait, is that his back? But I cannot pen it. I cannot pen this guy. Wait, there was something green. Here. Wait! Wait! If I go in the low ground, I can shoot his ass! We need it. We need it for an ace tanker. Is it good enough? Oh! I can spend a lower plate of his... ...ass. Okay. And that's with the gold. Who goes to sleep in the middle of the battle? Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> Look, even tier 5 KV is struggling to fend his back. And we are out of gold rounds. <laughs> we are out of gold rounds. Okay, he's unpenable now, bro. GG, guys. We tried. I think I have like 30% chance to, to hit him there with the pen. Is there anything else? <laughs> we are shooting HEs at him. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's sleeping! Bro, that's, that's insane. I mean, but that's an ace tanker, guys. Oh. Perfection. Alright, our first kill. Can we get Wolverine? Alright! Nice. Ambush on the Churchill tree was perfect in this round. Alright, guys. 2000 damage, 1000 experience. <laughs> we only shoot one, shot 119 times, guys, to get this 2000 damage. At the tier 5, we are getting ourselves Chaffee. For some reason, I'm always thinking about coffee reading this uh, name i recommend you playing with the vents optic and low noise exhaust same as on the tier 4 having rammer will help you to deliver shots faster but the tank is extremely inaccurate so having uh, vents is going to improve gun performance a little bit a little bit to the view range so what's the point of shooting faster if uh, you are not going to be delivering your shots anyway but you have to learn on how to use guns on this tech tree because l later on the tier 8 and the tier 9 spotting ability of the lightnings is going to be far below of the counterparts of uh, other nations and other lightnings so to be able to m make this tank work we have to use our gun in the first part of the battle and uh, tune into the light tank in the end battle so it is very important for us to have a habit of thinking that we are more of a medium and we can use our speed, camouflage and view range in the end of the battle. So do damage first and then spot later. Wait, this guy died to ELC. ELC is on the middle. Our IKV is our IKV is gonna get shot by the ELC in the next five seconds. And that is, gentlemen, a game sense. Hello, Mr. Crowley. Now let's try to spot the hill where tank destroyers are. And we are losing this side, so instead of pushing forward, I actually want to go back now. Since we do not see anybody here. Okay, they actually listen to what I'm saying. That's great. Start From somewhere here, I should have an angle on the ELC. And like I stated previously... Killing light tanks is always our priority. I like that our team is going back. We might have a chance of uh, having close round. I'm excited to see how it will play out. Have you ever helped an enemy tank that was flipped by unflipping them? Thanks. Um... I don't think I did. Okay. We have two targets to shoot at... Uh, 
right? We have two targets to shoot. Why am I shooting at the IKV, guys? Instead of shooting at Mitsu. Given that I can pen both of the tanks equally... Easily. The answer is that... I'm always trying to focus faster tanks. As if... Uh, I shoot at the... Mitsu. But IKV run away. Then... Like, we have to find him, we have to chase him, and it is complicated. So instead, we, we shoot at fast tanks, and... Uh... Wow, that was not for me. I would like to stay here and uh, try to kill this ELC, as it's the most uh, dangerous enemy. Chaffee as well. Let's load the APs here for the shell velocity. As he is extremely far. Wolverine, okay. Okay, I can go kill Wolverine, but he has protection by another Wolverine and artillery. This game can be interesting. Ooh, oh! What is that, man? Oh, what? No way. Okay, boys. Okay. Our Wolverine is gonna die. Let's go back to the base, maybe t 25 TP is pushing. If I can kill ELC without taking a shot from him, I might have a chance of winning this battle. So I would like to sit somewhere here, maybe like in this position, to be able to spot tanks pushing towards my RT. Hmm. Maybe even here, as I will be able also to spot this area a little bit. Let's knock a tree for later use, but I'm not going to sit in it right now. And that's why. We're just gonna make these bushes for, for, the la for later, okay? For later. Okay, I should be on the move because of the RT. I'm in your jet. Please, gun. Gun, please! I have to go in. Okay, he's on reload. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, they are so healthy. They have so much HP. How do I do it? 
We need. I need to take them one by one. But how? Oh my god. We have full HP Wolverine somewhere on the base. It's just that they have so much HP, guys. Listen, they might think I'm gonna go that way. So maybe pushing back towards our base. No. No. I have to move. No. Leave me alone. Wolverine is coming. No. <laughs> they have so much HP. So much. I can't do it. Oh man. Okay, incoming. I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly waiting for it. Honestly waiting. So I think if enemy ELC would have been dead, if our IKV wouldn't be killed by this ELC, uh, perhaps the outcome was different. But map, like my position, like I couldn't run. I couldn't run anywhere. My position was uh, difficult here. At the tier 6, we are getting ourselves T37. This tank is getting much better on than on the tier 5, and that's why we are going to complement it with the Rummer. We are getting ourselves access to the field mod and uh, special scouting slot. I would recommend you putting uh, low noise or optic, depending what you want to achieve more. But at the lower tiers, I think view range is far more superior than camouflage because being able to spot enemies faster will grant you a chance to do two, three, maybe five shots of damage before they will be able to approach you. And that's why light tanks at the tier six are so powerful because uh, people are grinding and they are playing heavy tanks that can have 350 meters base view range and if enemies aren't using coated optic for example they are practically never spotting your line and uh, i really miss this feeling of being able to outspot enemies and shoot without getting spotted at the higher tiers because even heavies can have uh, full view range so we're gonna be using the same tactics as uh, we did with the chopping we're gonna be using our guns more than uh, spotting for our teammates because uh, spotting at the end is far more important than at the beginning of the battle. If the if this T34 would go with me in this position here, we would kill VK and uh, we would have the game. Okay, now, I think I'm gonna push forward to have easy shot. Easier shot, I would say.
Just like so. You can change the outcome of this of the battle on this map solo. And uh, to do so, so you have to be playing uh, around this part of the map from both sides. Easy peasy. Nearly 2k damage. You are a wizard? Experience, man. Experience. Thank you, though. Thank you. Hello, Krista. First class. Okay. So we would have to try slightly harder than this. At the tier 7, we are getting ourselves E71 CM CD. We are getting excellent uh, view range if uh, we're using coated optic, and uh, our gun is getting much better than on the tier 6. But there is a problem. On the tier 7, in the collector's vehicle, there is T71 DA that has pretty much the same gun characteristics, apart from the um, accuracy, but this is 6 shells out of order, meaning you can do 900 damage within 10 seconds. Sadly, grinding towards Sheridan, you will have to play with this vehicle, but I thought it was important to mention that there is a fun tank that once you have this tank open, you can go to the tech tree, you can go to the co uh, collector's vehicle, and uh, here you will be able to buy yourself T71 DA. In fact, I chose this vehicle to play myself on the free-to-play account where I am trying to get object to 60 by playing only with the tier 7. And I chose T71 DA to do light tank 15 mission for object to 60. Because uh, it's a tiger, guys. You don't want to mess with the tiger. And here, as long as two bushes are transparent and you cannot see through, you can shoot. One bush, second bush. One bush, that's one bush. And then you go back until second bush. I honestly think that it wouldn't be a bad idea to run as we do not have anything why is our tiger pee into the wa in the water guys huh okay e25 is going to cover that flank so that's great But still, I would kind of... I would like to go back. <laughs> he doesn't know. Hey man, good day, o slash. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you for subscription. Day really is good. Thank you. Okay, it's not going very well. I would like E25. Go back. I would like him to go back. 
on on this map you can win pretty much uh, any case any scenario y you just have to sit behind the bushes here pretty much and our e25 is ensuring that it is not going to be easy for us to win this game hmm. that's a way to throw his vehicle Wow, that was important. Now the problem that we have is that there is two light tanks that way, a tiger and a light tank from the bottom. There is a light tank from the bottom. If he would go like here, maybe, or maybe behind this rock, so we can work together. Okay, that's amazing that he's dead. I know that I have a chance to shoot him when he go up. But I'm not sure if he's going to be getting spotted anymore. Okay, let's let's focus at the low HP tanks. We can win this, guys. Imagine we had E25 here. Just imagine, guys. E25. Sitting here, being able to use its uh, massive DPM. Imagine. Nice. shot at the beginning of the battle for it to be able to to reach me holy yeah if our e25 wouldn't run like this this guy wouldn't drown i feel like the outcome would be totally different it was very possible to win at the t rate you've got yourself a cherry of this entire tech tree the killer of the busies and Skoda TVs. Jokes aside, this is the worst light thing at the tier 8. The problem of this thing is huge size and uh, low camouflage. You do have an amazing gun, and as I was saying previously, you want to learn how to play light things by using the gun, the tier 5, tier 6, and the tier 7, and you have to do absolutely the same at the tier 8. But I recommend you not be playing around the bushes on uh, Ghost Town, Prokhorovka, anywhere where enemy ELC even 90, for example, can be uh, playing because you're just gonna be getting spotted before you will be able to see him. So try to be a support, stay alive until the end, wait for the light things to make mistakes, counter them, and then at the end of the battle, you're gonna have yourself a nice game. Honestly, I would like to maybe make a move here. Usually it's not a good idea. But we're going to be losing that side, I think. I'm going to go in the bush, fire, see if I'm spotted. 
Let's try it again. Not spotted, so let's try to push forward. Uh, today we're not playing KV2. Today we are playing with the shared Antec tree. I might proxy spot something here. Okay, nobody. That's amazing, actually. After fire, I might be spotted from those guys, so I'm gonna go back in cover immediately. I mean, we're just gonna zerg him. We're just gonna zerg him! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now what? Mm-hmm. Good job, boys. Okay, now we have to make our way out of here. What's the distance to the bush? 280 meters. I am gonna be spotted if I try to run. I'm gonna shoot to see if he's there. He's not. Let's run away. Let's run away, guys. Requesting support. This is something that World of Things players needs to learn. That we win a side, right? We win a flank. Just go back. Go back to defend another one. And games where you win one side, but you're about to lose another one, are the best games there is. The most enjoyable close rounds. I can imagine ELC being already around here. Oh no, okay. Our lease died. I hope that this one is going to go back and not like, draw his vehicle away. He's already getting spotted. Hmm. We have to focus ELC if we can. Okay, that's the, the worst play you could ever make by the ELC. That is the worst play I have ever seen. He thought that the game is a victory already, guys. He thought he won the game. Well, I have a surprise for him. I could go and help uh, Liz. Because if he's not going to pen with the high roll, he's going to die. But I would like to keep him alive. And that's why, gentlemen, we stay alive until the end of the battle. That's why we are not playing around the bushes. And not dying at the beginning of the game. Leo is 100 HP. I think pushing city right now is actually prime time. That's money right there. Killing Wiki, for example. Getting them one by one. That T34-3 can do shit. Because uh, I am a lightning. Oh, Challenger. We need to go after Challenger. Oh, no. We got spotted. You just play with me. Ok, 
Can I? I should kill Challenger. I'm just gonna go and kill Challenger, I think. Okay, I got him. I think the 34 is pushing. Okay, we have to go in. AT-15 with a lot of health. I do not want to leave him yet. We can kill T-34. Okay, now- No, no, no! Bro! Come back! Oh, AT-15 is here as well. Okay, I trade... I trade my teammate as much as I can. And we run. I need to play together with the SU. Together with the SU. These guys won't know what hit them. Oh no. Okay, I need to kill T-34 somehow, guys. He's going after me. Withdraw from that position! you please pen him nice okay okay perfect I, I need to save the Judas Moving to cover your flank. I need to save Judas please no Judas! Judas, you're the best! He's bloody genius. I appreciate it. He's bloody genius. Okay, now just don't fumble, guys. Don't fumble. That tank is actually uh, dangerous. Okay. We got this, we got this, look. Thanks a lot.
<laughs> now what, bro? <laughs> wow, I think I think I just played with the best player in World of Tanks, guys. The synergy between us, the communication, understanding, the chemistry was on another level. Bulldog is insane. I told you guys that this is the highlight of the whole three. Like. <laughs> In, in fact, I wish we were playing against your tents, so it would be at least a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. If you manage to survive M4190 Bulldog grind, you get your hands on the best tank in an entire tank tree, and it is 249. Guys, sometimes you... you you have to play the derp way. Sometimes you have to do it even if it's not worth it. Even if it's not worth it. The act of doing it is worth by itself. You will have to suffer a little bit with the stock gun, but the gun is yes. actually incredible to use. And uh, if uh, you were following my advice on the previous tiers, where you were learning how to use your gun, it's actually not going to be that bad. But once you unlock 152mm gun launcher, you're going to be launching 1000 damage shots into the soft part of the enemies. Got him! Dude, I was... Guys, I was fishing this guy for so long! Dominique aka Noob, until the next time, bro! By playing with the T49, you are going to be putting your team in a little bit disadvantage, because once you are playing on uh, maps where you have to spot through the bushes, you are going to be uh, losing against uh, tanks like GSOR or IMX1390. But we are playing this tank for fun, anyway. There is not many tanks on which I have put fire control system, but uh, T49 is one of them. We are trying to make our gun works the best to be able to connect those juicy penetrations. Guys. Do you wonder what I do? Just, you know. I, oh, you know? The average, the usual. Budget, please go forward. Budget, please go. Oh. F in the chat, boys. I have to make sure I'm not gonna hit the gun. Okay. Ayuxin, what's on the menu today? <laughs> the usual. Should I load HE or hit round? Guys, <laughs> my <laughs> oh, and we still have HP to do the same to the lease city map, by the way. Ready to fire. 
Ooh, I'm sorry. That wasn't me. I didn't do nothing. Oh. Hello, guys. Ouch. Too bad, guys. That was not a penetration. T30 is on reload. Give me your booty, bro. What? Man, we didn't pen so many shots. Sacrifice! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Four point seven thousand on a city map. Sheesh, man! I kind of like control system. Nice stop by the damage. <laughs> a light tank on a city map. At the tier ten, we meet. The worst light tank in an entire game. But with arguably one of the best guns. And if you get your hands on the Sheridan, you decided to have it for whatever reason, I recommend you playing it with the small gun. If you want to play with the derp gun, please play on the tier 9. Because you are going to be meeting less armored tanks more often, and therefore you're going to be more effective. At the tier 10 with the Sheridan, I recommend you playing with the 390 damage gun and uh, play as a support medium. But playing with this tank is extremely difficult and uh, if you're searching for a light tank to grind to finish light tank missions for example and you aren't a light tank player, go for T100, IMX 13105 or Mighty 4 for example. Stay away from the Sheridan. Never mind. That could have costed me a lot of HP. Okay, now we leave as the heavies can go there. Uh, position for you guys to counter lights when... Let's say you have three, four light tanks and you're playing from this side. It is fairly difficult to spot yourself. So counter light tanks is a play. You can do it like this. Okay, we do not have anybody there. I could go in that position. Because if I try to push in where the budget is... Oh, he just got panned by Artie. I do not want to go there. Okay, so... Together with the Centurion, we're going to be con covering the flank. And yeah, guys, since the beginning, I told you, the game is going to be difficult. But we do not give up, we try our best. That position where TVP is going is actually extremely strong. I'm gonna wait for someone to shoot. Okay. Oh, if I were if I were to wait a little bit, I would uh, one tap the light. Level 350, by the way. You can play many games, you can gain levels. But skill... That's what's important. Oops. 
Okay, our light tank is actually doing great job providing vision at them. Okay, minus two lights, that's amazing. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Trying to have side shots. I'm not extremely confident in this. I'm, I'm fine, I just have to hide from the other tanks. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Two hundred sixty nine meters. Mm. I'm not an expert here as it's literally like I never been here, guys. Like, i never been to this position before. What? We are doing Tech 3 showcases for every top of the 3 tanks. And the next one is going TVP T50-51 on Saturday. Unfortunately, we messed up the timing with the, this one and you're watching it at the last day where you can use discounts and have the bonuses from top of the tree. But after watching this video, you do not want to grind Sheridan anyway. Thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see you in the next video.